y'all doing? This is JT and I appreciate y'all keeping up. We are talking to Destiny Spurlock today and um, she is an outstanding racer, beautiful person inside and out and uh, it's an honor to know her and be her friend. I've known her for years but she came on as one of the partners um, in 2021 so we welcome her to the family. Of course, I made sure I got her for the podcast, and of course, we're going to uh, push it on over into YouTube now. So we've got some uh, pictures and stuff that we're going to throw up here as well. Some of them are pretty recent. Destiny, which you can follow her on Facebook at Destiny Spurlock Official, and Instagram at Destiny Spurlock. Uh, She runs the uh, 460 class, uh, 8th mile class, uh, sponsored by Vance and Hine. So don't let the 8th mile fool you. The 460, you have to do the 8th mile on 460, and trust me, they can do it faster, which is the challenge. you got to run to the number. Um, So Vance and Hine sponsors 460 for XDA, and Destiny participates in that. But she also participates in the Superstock class, which is sponsored by HTP Performance. she does very well it's uh she's even admitted that it's adjustment because she's going from this massive bar bike for 460 to super stock but she's an outstanding racer and she's doing fantastic and i'm super proud of her so without further ado let's go hear from destiny spurlock all right this is jt i have destiny spurlock hey with jt me today. <laughs> how you doing What's good up? all right uh having a great conversation and of course I have to get one of the best female racers <laughs> in the sport. She's got this big old grin on her face that y'all can't <laughs> see. So um, tell everybody about Destiny Spurlock. Okay. So. Hey everybody. As he said, my name is Destiny Spurlock. Um, I've been racing for probably 11 years or so now. I don't know. I, I've lost track of how many years. But um, racing is my life. It's my passion. It literally fuels through my blood like it just it's me um i don't know what else you guys don't know it's so much about me that i could say um i'm racing three pro classes this year which is one is super stock the other is 460 and the new one is extreme um oh my god really uh what is it i'm like pro extreme yes i'm like extreme (laughs) i drew a blank but um yes that's a new class um that i'll be racing in this year super excited it's turbo i love turbos so yeah we should see how this goes Mm -hmm. so what's your um what's your best performance so far on anything so be it pro mod or whatever so 460 last year we ended we ended the year in fourth position which was really good for us because the year prior we were just learning each other and trying to get the feel of us as a team and then we came back the next year and rocked it out so (laughs) this year hopefully we can get that number one spot in 460 index class and for people because i do have a lot of people that may tune in because I talk about all the other stuff on another day, all the cycling stuff. Yeah. Um, 460, let's yes. describe that for the people that may not understand what 460 motorcycle is. What do you gotta do there? All right, so 460 is a 460 index class, meaning you cannot go faster than 4.60 seconds. People don't understand this sometimes. You can literally go too fast. <laughs> so your object is to cross the finish line first with going as close to 4.60 seconds without going too fast. And what are the average speeds in the class? Uh, Let me see. We're at 163. I think that's our average, and it is an eighth-mile class. Um, Some some people, like Ryan Procopio, he's flying. I I can't think of exactly what his mile an hour is. I think he's like 170, but he's flying. (laughs) So you think it's like, oh, he's not close to me. Then you go to lift to make sure you don't go too fast, and then he comes flying past you and wins. So, yeah, that class is... It's 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 tricky. It's hard, but I love a challenge. So, <laughs> and where did it start for you? So it started at 17, 16 years old. My mom bought me my first bike, which was a Jixer 750. Your mom. Bought my you. mom. Don't mean to cut her off, folks, but <laughs> you heard that right. Her mom 
bought her. My mom would never. I'm a guy, and my mom would never buy me anything like that. All right, go ahead. Yes, my mom bought me my first bike. Um, it was the Jixxer 750. I rode it for literally two months. And then I went to Barosta, Georgia, for the Man Cup, and I got the chance to ride Brock's um, BMW Performance Center bike that he had. I set the record on it, and literally, I became an ambassador for BMW, and the sponsors start rolling in, and it never stopped from there. Yeah. Now, um, now obviously the um, the the women. There's what I love about the sport is the is there is for the people that don't understand. There is no he or she class. Correct. You, you just show up and race. Yeah. And there's a lot of dominant um, women in this, such as Robin Procopio and so yes. forth. Um, have I've noticed that there's been more and more growth there. Yes. So, what's your opinion on women and? And motorcycle drag racing. So my opinion when it comes to women in motorcycle drag racing, I love it. Because it's not a lot of us. It's literally you can count on your hand how many women used to be in the sport. Now it's went it's gone from ten women to maybe twenty and it's a lot of young, old, like like everybody mixed in there. And I just love it. Like women in a male dominated sport. It's phenomenal. So I welcome more women to come to the sport. <laughs> and it's and what's from and again my my standpoint as I mentioned in a, in a different talk with somebody else is I'm kind of in the middle. So I'm not a racer. Yes. So I have gone down the track, but a whole whopping six times. So, so it's nothing <laughs> to be to yell at the ceiling about. But anyways, um, so I'm I'm kind of in between. So I kind of get to hear from the racers, and then I'm not quote unquote higher in the food chain yeah. upper, and I'm not a reporter so I get to hear the middle side of it yes. um, what I love about the sport is that there's you still get some of that he said she said when it comes to the men and women in the sport but you don't get that in the sport mm-hmm. and my experiences and what I've seen is that it's there is no gender yes between this family yes. that is motorcycle drag racing so exactly and, uh, because when we post stuff of destiny they're all these guys know to be on their game <laughs> when, when they have to go up against destiny or they go up against robin yes um i mean then oh, you've robin got your first stock people fierce uh, like she's how many championships has she won like a million yeah i think she just won them all she's just, just awesome right yeah you put her on a toaster, <laughs> you put her on a toaster and she'll probably win exactly one, so. yeah i definitely admire her <laughs> All right, and um, the type of bikes you'll be running this weekend. By the way, the noise in the background for y'all, this is Maryland. It's the April 22nd, and we're at the first XDA race in Maryland. It's hosted uh, Jason Miller, Chris Miller, and Miller Brother Productions. Mm-hmm. has it going on? So that's what the noise in the background is. Yes. Um, but um, what are you running? What type of bikes are you running? So I'm running a stock Jixxer 1000, completely <laughs> stock. The only thing that's added on are, is a Brox Performance pipe we have luring links and our forks are cut and that's it so it's pretty much off the showroom floor so that's going to be an awesome class to run (laughs) and then the other um, one is 460 and that is a bar bike so you have your big tire you have your bar your willy bars on the back um yeah it's yeah they're both completely different but i can rock it out (laughs) and we're gonna have a picture of the her on the bike earlier we'll have that up on dragbike.com um i'll have it up either today or tomorrow but we'll get it up there because it's a beautiful machine so we're talking about the big bar bike for those that don't know the difference yeah um as for and we've got seven series in the xda um is there any other series that you plan on running in or mainly xda so mainly xda but we definitely want to do some hopefully sdba races because we've heard a lot of good things about their series so we're looking to branch out there um definitely the man cup race and yeah i think that's all that we have so far for racing for this year Mm -hmm. now and for people that want to keep track of you yes she does have a social media footprint so let everybody know where you're going to be at. It's so. super simple. It's literally everything is Destiny Spurlock. It's D-Y-S-T-A-N-Y Spurlock. And you'll find me. All right. Now, um, obviously, I'm going to be doing some stuff with you this year, too. So um, so we'll make sure that we get content up. We'll have some content up this weekend as well. For sure. um, and it's going to be a lot of fun because... When I take her, she just did the focus. Like now, y'all can't see her face, but 
she's smiling she's sitting here she's all bubbly and stuff but i tell you when she rolls up under this tent out here she's one of the coolest people i like to take pictures of because it just i mean it's almost like a piece of stone yes <laughs> yes and then when she gets done she goes back to what we see like, hey you know, guys. Is... right and then when i'm raised i'm just like focus i don't want to hear it don't talk to me hi mm-hmm. cool we'll talk afterwards so and she's styling so her her partner in crime is sitting behind her and he's yes. got this big grin on his face because <laughs> Huh? I think a lot of his style is rubbing off. It's like, okay, like, we're going to have to style this guy up a little bit. You're going to hang around with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely my backbone. Like, he's taught me so much, and we really complement each other in so many ways. We bump heads sometimes, but who doesn't? But our happy times are so great, and especially when we got the chance to win Um two classes he won one i won another one on the same race day that was the coolest thing ever so hopefully we can back that up yeah, yeah. so so y'all keep an eye keep an ear and eyeball out on Cortland because that's yes. who we're currently picking on who's sitting Cortland sitting White. Right <laughs> <laughs> he's got his two now 2019 champion jacket on too from the y'all should see so. him he's just chilling back here like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's the chill one i'm like the fire one <laughs> what are you doing when you're not racing Everything working. I drive track the trailers. I don't know if you guys know that, but I do drive track trailers. Uh, what else? We, we cycle. We just bought two brand new bikes. Um, we're outside um, in our yard. We just bought a house. So we're always doing something. We don't stop and sit still, or we're hanging out with our doggy Sky. <laughs> All right. So now there's going to be some, you're going to get some testing in today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. yeah, today. Yeah, on the 460 bike. On the 460 today. And okay. the Super Stock and 460 tomorrow. Okay. All right. So Destiny Spurlock, um, keep an eye on her page for the entire season, not just this weekend. That's so, right. Uh, dragbike.com. I support dragbike.com. So she'll definitely be popping up over there too. Got to spend a little bit of time with Destiny, but we're going to come back and revisit as the season moves on. But I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Thanks. I'm excited, and I look forward to next time. All right. (laughs) Thank you all. How y'all doing? Hope y'all enjoyed that conversation with Destiny. And again, I am super proud of her. I'm super proud of uh, her team. And uh, it's a pleasure being able to work with her. We... um, have some partnership cards up. We're gonna design her some hero cards for her team herself. And we're also looking at uh, creating a cool poster. And I can't wait to get started on that. And um, we're gonna make good things happen. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We got a lot of racing left to go for 2021. And um, she is a blessing. So Destiny Spurlock on Facebook. You have to excuse, I might be pausing a little bit more because I had some dental work done. Um, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get used to this stuff. But follow Destiny Spurlock at Destiny Spurlock Official for Facebook and on Instagram at Destiny Spurlock. And uh, where you can course follow me, follow drivebike.com, XDA, um, where uh, I ensure my partnerships are promoted along the way. So we thank you very much. This session today is brought to you by 190hookup.com. Rob Bush Motorsports does so much for this sport. He has anything and everything that you need. 190hookup.com. When you need something, please go support Rob Bush. He's a fantastic man. The team he's got working the pits. And when they are set up, they have what you need. Make sure you... uh, They've got swag, too. Make sure you get shirts, you get hats. They can hook you up. So robbushmotorsports.com, thank you so much for your support in 2021. An official partner to the JT Norton Media Support Service Program. Rob Bush Motorsports, 190hookup.com. They have what you need. Go get it. They're waiting on you. And we shall talk again soon. Thank you for keeping up.